The poverty rate is one of the most depressing economic statistics we have. Not only are too many people in poverty, but it hasn't fallen over the last three or four decades. We've doubled GDP, average incomes in the economy, and by the official poverty rate, we've made no progress. But it turns out a lot of this is due to measurement. So there's two big innovations that are going on. The official poverty measure, does it only takes account of cash income. So it doesn't account, take account of things like the earned income tax credit. It's a really important one for poor families. Or food stamps, things like this. And so the authors start to count those things back in. And when you do that, you see that the poverty, we have made real inroads into reducing poverty. Anti-poverty programs work. The other thing they do is they think about a whole new way of measuring poverty. We normally measure it by how much income you get in a given year. What about instead how much spending you do? Well, this is useful because think about a farmer. Bumper crop yield this year, terrible crops next year, bumper crop the year after. He's probably got a pretty good standard of life and we probably wouldn't want to call him in poverty in the one year which happens to be a down year. And so by looking at what people spend instead of what they're earning, we get a different take on poverty. And again, we find that we've made great inroads into reducing poverty.